Well, we're going to move on and uh, Dundalk were the visitors to Inchicore on Friday as St. Pat's looked to build on two wins in a row going into the game. Hugh Cahill has this report. St. Pat's opening day blip can now be well and truly forgotten after they secured their third win in a row with a 2-0 victory against Dundalk on Friday night. Mark Leach had the best of the opening chances after breaking free down the left-hand side. But the shot was wide at the target. Some knee passing saw Mark Quigley set up Alan Cawley for a left-footed strike. But again, nothing to trouble the Dundalk goal so far. Indeed, the visitors showed why they couldn't be taken lightly when Mansaram got the better of Jason Gavin in the Pats' defence. Referee Thomas Connolly waving play on, but the replay suggests Dundalk had a case. Pats continued to press, and this free kick led to the opening goal. Mark Leach rising highest to head home, Alan Cawley's cross. His joy, though, was not to last. Referee Thomas Connolly just wasn't in the mood for handing out penalties on the night. Mark Quigley clearly brought down in the area by Chris Brennan. How the referee missed that one is anyone's guess. Old favourite Keith Fahey was back to cheer on his old teammates. And Pats showed no sign of letting up after the break. Ryan Guy moving around two defenders, but the attempted lob easy for Benyon to deal with. Then the first of two horrific injuries. Mark Leach coming off the worst in this challenge with a broken leg. The goal scorer brought off for immediate treatment and replaced by Colin Moran. Dundalk took advantage of Pat's misfortune. Michael Daly's shot coming back off the woodwork in their closest effort so far. But credit to the home side, they kept pressing for that second goal cushion and it eventually came. The corner from the left after this Quigley shot. Kyle Moran was unmarked in the box and made no mistake in finishing off. Ryan Guy then missed a great chance to make it 3-0. Clearly not happy with his finish there. But the game suffered its second broken leg victim in the closing 10 minutes. Ryan Guy was booked for his challenge, but it was Gary Dempsey who had to be stretched off and taken to hospital. Clearly in some pain as the medics gave him treatment. And a pretty sad end to an otherwise entertaining match at Richmond Park. 2-0 the final score to Pats, but manager Jeff Kenna must now plan without Mark Leach and Gary Dempsey for quite some time, as both suffered broken legs in the game. Fantastic performance, fantastic result. You know, uh, we were very confident in getting a result here, three points at Richmond Park. We let the fans in the first game, simple as that, and you know, it's great to get back the winning ways back here, you know. Uh, I thought we finished the half, uh, you know, certainly even, not on top. Disappointed that we conceded a goal from a set pace. Uh, I thought the second half we started brightly, uh, played most of the game in, in Pat's half without really getting them behind them or hurting them, you know, and when a team has a lead like that, it gives them something to fight for. And again, disappointed that we conceded from another set pace, you know. I thought we played particularly well in the first half, created some good goal scoring opportunities. Second half, um, we had to sort of dig in again, which has been really the sort of the way the season's gone for us so far. Um, but you have to be able to do that. It's another clean sheet, and uh, I'm absolutely delighted. I'd say he is, Roddy. Um, three wins out of three. They're only a point off the top now, Pat. Yeah. You were there. Yeah, they played well. Um, best to look to the two lads that broke their legs, by the way. Very I unfortunate. The, the game started off, Con. It was, it was a 
it looked like it was going to be a classic. You know, Dundalk are suited, they, 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 they personally have a suit to a 3 5 2 system. And they looked really comfortable in possession. It looked as if they were going to open up Pats at the back the first 10 15 minutes. And then uh, Pats copped onto a little bit of space behind Young Kelly because he was playing as a, a wing back, but he wasn't really defending when he should have. So there was a little bit of exposure there, and, and Pats exposed that area. And then Sean, for some reason, changed back to a 4 4 2. So in his quest to close one door, I think he opened three or four for Pats. Uh, the team didn't seem to be happy in the system, and wherever he said at half time, obviously they come out and they had a go. But you know, for me, before the second goal came, I felt there was a terrible lacking in attitude from a lot of the Dundalk players, and that for me is is not acceptable. So we said at the said at the start of the season that when you sign a lot of characters, and you know you've got to sort them out. I think Sean at this particular time is going to have a job in the dressing room to sort a few out. But conceding from two set pieces as a manager is criminal, uh, he, whatever happens in open play, but yeah. so, two soft goals really, you know, it's very frustrating as a manager. John, um, for Pats, that is, as I say, uh, three wins in a row, and guys like Mark Quigley coming back into the team, Ryan Guy, it's, it's starting to just take shape for them. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think, you know, obviously Mark coming back, I think he missed a fair bit of the pre-season and stuff. You know, good to see him back on the pitch. But, you know, another clean sheet to defend him well. The likes of Dave Partridge there at the back. Good, strong, good, solid defenders, Damien Lynch. Well, Johnny, you know, on the yeah. night, Jason Gavin looked a player that shouldn't be playing this league. He was absolutely fantastic. It was, it was, it was a, a canter for him. And as you said, Quigley coming back into the team was the main player for ball being played through. He dropped off. And they played fantastic football at times. And a very composed performance from Pats. Remind me of the old days when he's won the leagues, five across in the middle, never phased. And yeah, good performance. Sean, I'd love to bring you in, but your man never <laughs> shuts up. So 